What's up? My name is Kevin King and today I am going to talk about why playing the piano is like solving a Rubik's Cube. So if you've ever purchased a Rubik's Cube, um, at least when I purchased it back in college, um, it came with a set of instructions. Um, and those instructions that came with it literally talked me through step by step exactly how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Now, the first time I did the Rubik's Cube, it probably took me, I don't know, two hours to complete it from start to finish. Um, and then once I started un kind of understanding what the patterns were, when the, once the, what the algorithms were, I was able to successfully get it down to 30 minutes. After a while, um, I you know can finally do it in approximately two, uh, two to three minutes. Now that I'm talking, I probably won't be able to do it that quickly. Um, but my point is this: that when you get a um, piano, it doesn't come with a set of instructions, right? It's just like here it is. Good luck solving it. Now, if this were a Rubik's cube, that wouldn't really wouldn't really work. You'd really want to know how to solve it. Um, so nobody's going to hire a private, you know, Rubik's Cube instructor to teach them how to do it like they would a piano teacher. Um, but there are, they, you know, they all basically teach the same thing. Um, you can look online on, um, on YouTube and just search for, you know, Rubik's Cube solutions. And there's tons of different ways, tons of different people that are showing you exactly how to do that. Now, um... The piano is kind of a similar thing to where there's, you know, there are a bunch of people out there that are teaching the piano um, different different techniques, um, but they're all basically teaching music, you know. Everybody's basically teaching the same thing. Um, sorry, let me finish this move here. Um, so the Rubik's Cube, the way that it works is there's basically a series of algorithms um, that you need to know. An algorithm is basically just a pattern, um, and once you know what that pattern is, once you get the uh, cube into the starting position, you can then go through and um, just apply that algorithm. And then, um, you know, you, you put, you're able to put certain pieces in different spots just by knowing how to do that specific move. Now, the piano works in a similar way um, in that, here we go. Piano works in a similar way um, in that, you know, there's a bunch of patterns. There's a series of algorithms. Once you know the scale algorithm, you can then go through and basically find your starting point, um, and then you know how to play a scale. Um, chords are pretty much the same way. Um, it's really just knowing what the algorithms are, and then once you do that, you um, can su successfully play the piano. So, um, my point is, is that um, sometimes trying to learn the piano can seem very complicated from the outside looking in. So, I'm not going to try and pretend that learning how to play the piano is a simple thing. That there's, you know, a couple of little tricks that you learn and then, you know, you're good to go. It, it is an involved process and it is kind of complicated. Um, but you just have to learn it step by step and kind of take each little piece at a time. Um, and then once you do that, you can then, you know, build upon that knowledge, um, much like you solve a Rubik's Cube. A lot of people, when they first go to try and solve a Rubik's Cube, they just have no idea where to even begin. So the way that a Rubik's Cube work is that the center square on each face is actually that sides color. So once you know that, you can look back and say, oh, okay, that makes sense. As I'm going through and rotating these pieces, you know, the center of the face is actually staying the same. Um, so it's going through and learning the algorithms um, and how to put each piece in a certain place. Music works in a very similar way. Sometimes trying to approach the piano, it can seem like a Rubik's Cube where you're just like, I have no idea where to even begin. Um, but, you know, just taking each piece step by step, slowly learning each part of the piano, different intricacies, different uh, music theory, 
um, different techniques, then you know you put it all together and then you're finally able to complete something and create something magical in music. If you would like me to teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube that is the piano, consider checking out the King's Piano course. I will put a link in the description below. Again, my name is Kevin King. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like button, leave me a comment, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Till next time, take care.